Hi guys, how are you all? Hope you all are doing well. So I'm super exhausted here because we got back from a trip um, from Los Angeles because we went with our son uh, who's looking at colleges um, to check out a college. So I thought I'll talk a little bit about what it's like. Uh, so if you have a child applying to a college in the United States, then and if you can make it over and check it out, um, or you live in a faraway state in America and you want to go to a different state, what is it that you're looking at? So what we did was that, you know, the colleges that he was interested in, you go to the website, go to admissions, and then figure out when they're having college tours, and then you sign up. So that's what we did with this particular college. Um, I signed him up, gave him, gave them his address, uh, email address, mine. You um, pick a time slot uh, and then just show up. So that's what we did. Um, so come along with us and uh, see how we went about the college tour. And also we did a little bit of sightseeing and had fun. You know, why not if you're in a different state or in a different city that you've not been to, might as well make the most of it. It's completely clear. So my first time flying Southwest Airlines, and I have to say, I was really impressed. I thought it was a very efficient airline, and uh, they're really good at doing these short hops and uh, quite good for domestic travel. So off we go. So just a one-off flight for us, not really hard for us at all from Northern California going down to the south. And that's LA down there, so flat and uh, I like how it's nestled in between the mountains and no really uh, you know, high rises like you'll find in New York, so very well spread out um, city. And uh, there in the distance, you are about there. You could see those buildings are reaching up to the sky. And those are, that's downtown LA. If you're able to, you're probably better off getting a rental car because um, there's a lot of driving to be done here. And there are so many colleges to check out and some really good ones. So otherwise, your option would be to, uh, to Uber. You know, this rental for us right from the airport itself worked out for us. So we stayed at the Residence Inn by Marriott. Uh, I thought it was quite nice and very self-sufficient. So let me take you around. I like this kitchen, but I didn't come prepared for chai, but that's okay. Sink, uh, nice, 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 nice. Ooh, it's a nice mirror, hello, hello, hello. So for three people, we thought a room like this would be good enough so we can all be together. So there is a pull-out bed here as well, the sofa bed. So I think we're good. And this is here. You can put your stuff there. Bathroom. I like this. Artwork. And a nice spacious shower. Not bad at all, if I may say so myself. So that's the sofa bed and we are facing him when we are on our bed. So this is great. We can keep an eye on him. <laughs> Next morning, we had to rush out after breakfast. Now the hotel did provide a breakfast, but you know, this is not the Maldives. So it was a very basic breakfast, really nothing much. And here we are, we allocated enough time because, you know, Los Angeles is supposed to be notorious for their traffic. Not that in the Bay Area it's any less. And we 
quickly went and registered at the front desk and then here are all the parents and the students who are sitting and waiting um, and uh, what happens here is that there's going to this is the part of the information session first so they'll give us like half an hour spiel on the college and stuff and after that uh, we go on a guided tour and for this they have students so we, they had three students in all and they split up the groups and we just uh, randomly picked one of the uh, tour guides and who are students of the college and they're also paid for the, by the college to do this so here we are checking out uh, the sports related fields um, because I know my husband's son would be interested in this because he's pretty athletic um, so the, the poor tour guides have to kind of walk backwards always and so we kept warning them if they're going to run into something so this is a beautiful pool here so one thing i've noticed about colleges in the united states is that the facilities are so great the campus is just wonderful uh, in almost all cases and uh, there's a nice gym here so i know for my son he will love it and here we are walking down the library and i hope he will love the library just as much or is that just visual thinking of a parent? Obama actually studied for two years in, in Los Angeles. So he did first two years of college here before he moved to New York. So I wonder if he got inspired here uh, because uh, his speeches referenced a lot of Mahatma Gandhi and uh, Martin Luther King Jr. So who knows, maybe he was here. A beautiful California campus has got to have beautiful oak trees and there it is. They're really old, lovely trees. So normally you'd be able to kind of go into the classes or at least see them or maybe sit in on a class, um, like a mock class, uh, but with the actual professors. Um, but, uh, you know, because of COVID, uh, they didn't have that. And we were mostly um, just in and out and seeing the outdoors. And here is the cafe again, looks really good. Um, so it's California, so the food is found to be good. Um, lots of condiments. And uh, usually the colleges, you know, when I did it with my daughter, I remember uh, you could eat at the cafe and they would even give you free coupons that you could eat. But now with COVID, there's a whole different protocol. Um, so yeah, a little bit more of the campus and uh, uh, the tour kind of came to a close with that. And so then we had to go out and find a place to eat. And we thought the Mexican food would be good here because it's so close to Mexico being Southern California. And so we got some food and it was fresh and um, decent tasting. So that's basically what a college tour will cover, uh, but things will be a little bit more elaborate uh, during non-COVID times. So you could do it at a leisurely place and just do one college a day, but you could also pack in two colleges because there are quite a few uh, good colleges here. So two colleges will be somewhat busy, uh, but uh, but definitely doable. So anyway, so we're out here again. Uh, we just had one college, so we're going to go explore a little bit of LA. So my husband is here looking for a boogie board, and I'll put the links uh, to the um, to all these places in my description box, and you can see if you happen to be in the area, you can check it out. So so this is a great place to get wetsuits and um surfboards, I don't even know the terminology, and boogie boards. So, so this is the boogie board that we ended up buying. And uh, now we are here at Hermosa Beach because this was the closest beach to the store. But apparently uh, there's like three beaches right next to each other over here. There's the uh, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, and Rodondo Beach. Lovely LA beach, nice and flat.
people out and about on the weekend enjoying sunning themselves i can see ships in the distance this is all cargo ships um which reminds me wonder what happened to all the supply chain issues that we're facing especially here in the ports of la I could just sit here for hours just watching the waves. Now I want to retire here. Every time I go to a new place, I'm like, how about we retire here? Just look at that. All caught on an iPhone camera. The wonders of an iPhone. So here's the thing. All my vlogging is all on iPhone. So no fancy equipment so far. Nature just does its job for me. So we do have some dinner reservations, so we need to get going. Sigh, so I have to leave this peaceful place and uh, go back to the hustle and bustle. Here are some restaurants right by the beach. People having a lot of fun. So we're walking back to our car and uh, one thing we noticed is that there are really some quite a few nice cars to be seen here. Of course, I didn't notice any of them, but they were being pointed out to me by my rest of the family. So yeah, what is that? An Aston Martin. This one's a green Ferrari, I was told. And yeah, you can see the symbol there. And then I like this. This is a Rolls Royce uh, and it's uh, um, an SUV. I never knew that they made an SUV. It must be fairly new. So here's my son pretending that he owns this. Hopefully someday. Um, needs to stick uh, with that college for four years <laughs> first. For now it's just pictures next to someone else's car when they're not looking. So when you're in LA, you must check out a few restaurants because they had some good food. And uh, I think we're pretty snooty up here in the San Francisco Bay Area, Oakland, Berkeley. You know, we do get really good food here, but I was pleasantly surprised. So um, really good seafood and tried a nice random sushi place, but even that ended up being quite nice. And then we also went to an Indian upscale uh, restaurant, uh, had some really good food there. We lost all sense of control with Indian food and we over ordered oh my god so much food there was this cauliflower dish that was amazing this is an avocado bale puri that was also very good and this is some south indian style shrimp some well spiced lamb chops and you'd think that would do it but no there was more here's some nice uh, naan the biryani uh, and um, those are the chutneys and then also we ordered some chicken curry oh my gosh and then i got this lychee cocktail which is phenomenal and here is another cocktail with mezcal and uh, this was at a different restaurant that i just loved and uh, this is my instagrammable picture a little bit highlighted but oh my gosh it was so smoky and fantastic and this was my favorite restaurant they had this most amazing um fried chicken a uh, cumin fried chicken Again, this is the uh, mushroom mozzarella focaccia and finally the butterscotch pudding i'll put the link in the description of all these restaurants and uh, yeah this one was my favorite because you know it's also run by two women and they've done such a good job with flavors with the ambiance and best of all it was the price was good it wasn't exorbitantly crazy so a great hit but now it's time to head back home and i'm in my uh, newly found favorite airline now you can see we are approaching the San Francisco Bay Area and our airports here, San Francisco and Oakland, it looks like you're going to land right in the middle of the water, which is nice. A welcome uh, change from other places where you can see cities here, you can see only water. So we're back home. So guys, I hope you found that informative and if you have a college student who's applying, um, I hope you know now what, what it looks like and uh, good luck to you with that process and I will catch you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.